Welcome back, heroes. Your battles across Krokun, Makari, and the Antoran Wastes have granted us a momentary advantage over the Legion's operations. Even now, as hundreds of Legion ships bear down upon Azeroth, their operations here on Argus have been disrupted, and our opportune moment has come. As the High Exarch and the Prophet prepare the vessel for the final assault, the Keepers of the Lost Codex have teamed up with Lightforge Historians to prepare an overview of the Legion's strongest lieutenants and the fortress they reside in. Now, let us begin. And Taurus, the Burning Throne, stands as the Legion's final major stronghold, and within its endless halls crawl hundreds of thousands of demons. The entire army of the Light shall invade Antorus alongside you, along with Illidan's demon hunters. While the Lightforge and the Illidari will move to intercept and cut off the bulk of the Legion's reinforcements, you and your soldiers will focus on taking out the top-ranking generals that hold power within the throne. High Exarch Teralion has laid out a rough path for you and the other heroes to cut through, a path that will lead you into the heart of the Dark Temple deep within Argus. It is there that we must rescue the Titans from Sargeras's grasp and prevent him from creating a new Dark Pantheon. Because the front gates of Antorus are heavily guarded and well protected, you'll be blasting an entrance in beneath the armory. From there, you'll scale the ramparts alongside High Exarch Teralion and join him in securing a staging point while the Vindicar and the Lightforge forces hold the Legion's attention. According to Illidari intel, the Legion has set a colossal fell reaver to patrol the area. The monstrosity that guards this part of Antorus is similar to the same machines that patrol the wastes, except this one is far bigger. This machine, known as the Garathi Worldbreaker, must be brought down if we have any hopes of punching a hole in the Legion's fortress. Beyond the Worldbreaker, a bridge will take you further into Antorus. As you cross down the ridge, you'll find a path leading to two demons who've harassed our forces in the Antoran Wastes for some time. Legion intel tells us that these demonic hounds make their lair here, and are rumored to be two of Sargeras' favorite pets. After the loss of his personal fellstalker, Gormaw, the Dark Titan set to reshaping and molding his pets, infusing their very bodies with shadow and fire. Like all of Sargeras' twisted creations, these monsters must be put down. You'll need to draw your forces back up the way you came from the bridge and push north. From there, you'll press on to sever the Legion's control over their vast portal network, the same network they used to transport their infinite armies across the cosmos. Portal Keeper Hazabel oversees and monitors this arcane nexus, and has the ability to tear open portals to every world the Legion has conquered. Killing her will cut off the Legion from calling on reinforcements. Killing her evens the playing field dramatically. Be swift, be merciless, heroes. Once the Legion's portal nexus has been disabled, you and your forces will move to cripple the Legion's highest ranking generals. Embedded into a cliffside seats the Antoran High Command, a triumvirate of three Eridar military leaders. According to Prophet Velen, these three leaders once governed and marshaled the armies of the Eridar prior to Sargeras' arrival on Argus. Now, in service of the Legion, Admiral Sevirax, Commander Irodas, and Chief Engineer Ishkar oversee the fleets and attack cruisers, the bulk of the Legion's ground forces, and the logistics supplies and weapons that are brought to the front lines. If both the Portal Nexus and the High Command fall, the Legion's grip on Antorus loosens and their forces fall into chaos, allowing the Army of the Light to reinforce their hold on the invasion point. With the Portal Network out of the Legion's control, heroes, your invasion turns into a rescue mission. You all saw Magni's vision from Ionar, the Lifebinder. She is the final member of the Pantheon that has not been captured by Sargeras, and her survival is key to preventing the Legion's victory. Magni believes that any hope we have of saving her lies in the Legion's portal network. We must locate her hiding spot before the Legion does, or this invasion ends here. As you and Magni try to secure and save Ionar, our forces will prepare the Vindicar to descend further into the planet. According to Illidan's scouts, before we reach the Dark Temple, We'll be forced to navigate through an area called the Fellworks. 
Illidan believes that while it may delay our rescue mission, contending with the Legion's fel-infused workshops and destroying the source of their war machines may cut off Sargeras's final attempt to call for reinforcements. As you cut through the fell works, be on your guard, for you may be forced to deal with one of the Legion's most notorious bounty hunters. You've all faced off against Legion assassins and bounty hunters before, but never any as cruel or determined as Imanar the Soul Hunter. Be careful, heroes, for this fiend has a bounty on all of your heads, and you can rest assured he will try and collect it. Here, in the heart of the fell works, you'll come face to face with Kingaroth, the mastermind behind all of the Legion's insidious war machines. From fell reavers and their twisted golems, to Legion battleships and the terrifying weapons they're armed with, all of these and more were born from the depraved mind of Kingaroth. Wormtongue prisoners tell us that this engineer of the apocalypse has fused himself into the very heart of his workshop, so that he may easily, and more efficiently, churn out a never-ending supply of weaponry for Sargeras' merciless crusade. Tear him out of his machine, champions, and put an end to one of the most valuable instruments in the Legion's war machine. After the Fellworks and its engineers have been ousted and put down, you will make your way back to the Vindicar to prepare for the final descent into the very heart of Argus. There, you'll find the elders of the Shavara Coven. You've cut down three of their sisters across your Argus campaign, and the four remaining Shavara have been given the sinister and unholy task of torturing the spirits of the Titans and twisting them into Sargeras' dark pantheon. Stopping their ritual and saving the Titans is absolutely crucial to our victory champions. Within this dark temple where the Shavara make their home, you may also encounter another captive of these vile witches. According to Wormtongue intel extracted by the Illidari, one of the most notorious and well-known dreadlords is being held here, Varamathras. You may remember this Nathrazim who was in charge of overseeing the Legion's forces during the Third War, and after that, his unexpected alliance with Lady Sylvanas. After his attempt to take Undercity and usher in another Legion invasion failed, Varamathras was ripped to the Twisting Nether and imprisoned for his failures. Although they both served the same master, the Coven of the Shavara have shown no mercy to the Dreadlord, tearing both flesh and sanity away piece by piece. Whatever remains of Verimathris will still likely be chained within the temple. Find him, and end this Dreadlord's existence permanently. Within the heart of this temple awaits the fallen Titan, Agrimar. Agrimar was once a member of the Pantheon, and fought alongside Sargeras as a second many eons ago. Even after Sargeras had gone mad, Agrimar remained a paragon of justice and strength in the universe, until he was later cut down by his former comrade and brother. Now, somehow, Sargeras has reclaimed Agrimar's essence and fused him within the shell of a new dark avatar. You managed to escape Agrimar and Krokoon champions, but if we are to rescue the very soul of Argus, then you must face Sargeras' second, and help free Agrimar's soul from the Legion's grasp. If you can manage to strike down each of Sargeras' lieutenants, if you can manage to save Ionar, the Titan souls held by the Coven, and Agrimar himself, the world soul of Argus awaits us. Before our invasion of Argus, we only knew of Azeroth's world soul that slumbered deep within the core of our homeworld. But now, after learning of Argus' world soul, we understand why Sargeras took such an interest in the world of Argus so long ago, and the torture and agony this world soul has had to endure. Well, it's almost too unbearable to imagine. Sargeras has used the tormented soul of Argus to fuel his foul legion's war machine, using the titan's life essence to allow the demons to regenerate within the twisting nether. If we don't sever Sargeras' connection to the world soul of Argus, every demon you've slain here on your campaign will have been for naught. The legion will recover from this assault, and everything you've fought for, 
Everything you and countless others have sacrificed will have been for nothing. Save the Pantheon heroes. End the torment of Argus. Stop Sargeras. And put an end to his burning crusade. The fate of our world, of all worlds, rests on your success. Good luck, champions. Thank you for joining us for this special raid overview featuring the story and characters of Antorus, the Burning Throne. Like our overview of the history of the Nighthold and the Tomb of Sargeras, this was one of our more ambitious projects that took almost as twice as long as our other videos. Due to some recent issues with YouTube, we had to postpone the launch of our video until we sorted everything out. In the wake of the YouTube suspension, we figured this would be a good time to mention our Patreon revamp. As a patron, you'll be given access to sneak peek previews, behind the scenes footage and recordings, and more. Here's a quick glimpse at some of our different tiers and rewards. Our Patreon page was opened after several requests were made in order to help support and sponsor what we do. None of our Holocore or Cortex episodes will ever be made exclusive or locked behind paid tiers. Our Patreon is simply an optional method for those who wish to support what we do. To our Patrons, your support and dedication to our channel means more than you could ever know. So from the bottom of our lore-filled hearts, thank you. You guys are awesome. With Antorus out of the way, we plan to continue our History of the Eridar series before diving into the lore and story of the Allied Races. With the launch of Battle for Azeroth Alpha, we also plan to shift our attention to new game content and hope to bring you some gameplay footage of some of the quest lines very soon. If you want to watch us run around Kul Tiras and Zandalar live, tune into our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash lostcodexlore. Come hang out with us as we alpha test the upcoming expansion, talk lore and stories, and record some of our behind the scenes footage for our upcoming videos. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. For those of you on Discord, we extend an invitation to the Lost Codex Sanctum. Join the Lost Codex Discord community and come hang out with us and fellow lore enthusiasts. Join our community, hang out with friends, and stay up to date on upcoming streams, projects, and more. Discord link in the description below. Thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you guys very soon.